First of all, I'm going to put Pete in the cassette. Here's a 96 Feffy tray. When I, put, when I put Pete in the cassette, I do what we call loose filling the tray. So I take a lot of peat, I don't press it down. I just loose fill the tray like this. Now all the pots are full. I brush off the excess, excess peat. That's ready. I use another tray to make a sewing impression. So I put this tray on top, tap it down. Which, which, now have a look at the tray. Can you see there's little sewing cups for each seed. Then we take the onion seed and we can see from the seed packet here we have Rosa, Rosa onion, the name Keravel. We have the Latin name. This orbitat is Swedish seed. It means untreated seed, which means that we can use this for organic farming, for, for normal villiella, this seed especially. Right, I open the packet. I pour some seed onto a card, like this. So I can see, I put this really carefully to one side. Now if you come around here, I'm going to take a picture. <coughs> now with the onions, we want in each of these pots, we want four to five seed. So the onions are going to be growing in a little clump together, not like individual onions. I can explain later why we do that. But now I have to very carefully select four seeds and scrape them in here. Four in the pot. It's very difficult to see. You can see one, two, three, four seeds in the pot. Next one. One, two, three, four seeds. Four, four seeds in the pot. Every pot has four seeds. When we've finished, when we've sown the whole tray, we'll put these down carefully. When we've sown the whole tray, we'll take this. This is called vermiculite. It's a type of dry clay, and we use these to cover the seed. So now this tray is full, and then I'll sprinkle this lightly over the top of the seed to cover the seed. Then I'll give the whole tray some water and we'll put it into the germination room. Okay, here we are in the germination room, or we call it the germination room. The idea is, is we want to keep the temperature steady at about 20 degrees centigrade for 24 hours. That means the seeds will germinate together. If the temperature goes during the day 25, during the night down to 5, the germination will be uneven. Epidasanen idavus. We don't want that. We want all the plants to be the same size. So you can see here, here, here we've got one tray. It's covered in plastic. And here, here are the plants. These aren't quite germinated yet. It usually takes, with onions, it takes four to five days at 20 degrees C to germinate an onion seed. Salad, for example, would be 24 hours. Cabbage is 24 hours. Some herbs can take two to three weeks. But on average, vegetables are two to three, four days in the germination room. We have to get them out of the germination room as soon as they start to you see the first seeds. If they stay in here for too long, they will grow quickly. They will, what would you say, venue. And that's not good. Well, our onion plants, they've been in the germination room for three or four days. Now these onions were sown on the 18th of April. That's exactly 10 days ago. So you can see now what the onion plant looks like after 10 days. Right, can you see that the onion plant is actually bent? It's bent over. Now we call this bend in the onion plant, we call it the elbow. We call it an elbow. And when the onion comes out the ground, 
it comes like elbow first out the ground and then straightens. And if you look at these plants, you can see here, for example, where the elbow has straightened. Can you see this bend here? Here's a very good example. You can see the bend and you can see the plant straightening out. Now when the plant, this one is now straight, when the onion plant is straight, it needs what we call short day treatment. Uh, in Finnish that is lyhyt paiva kasittele. On a small scale like this, where we are growing really interesting and special types of onions, it's worthwhile to do sow them from seed and give them three to four weeks of short day treatment. That's 12 hours dark and 12 hours light. That way we can ensure, in, ensure that we get a proper sized onion. And that's what we're going to do at Green City Farm. And it means that we can grow special onions that will last a long time in store. Okay, good morning. It's uh, seven o'clock in the morning here at Green City Farm and it's time to uncover our onions that are having the short day treatment. So now I'm going to remove the plastic cover from the, green, from the, from the plants, you'll see now. So I lift here, remove the plastic here. Okay, here are onion plants. Now these were covered last night at about seven o'clock in the evening, the covers remain on the uh, uh, the covers remain on the plants for a minimum of twelve hours, meaning, meaning that they have twelve hours dark and twelve hours light. The plants now are they were sown on the fourth of sorry the seventeenth of April, so the plants are now exactly one month old. They'll be here for another two weeks still, so. They're ready for planting after about six weeks. And the first two weeks, like we saw in the last film, they were in the greenhouse, the first two weeks. The, 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 the next four weeks, they're here, outside, being covered, evening and uncovered in the morning. And then in another two weeks, we'll take them to the field to plant them. You'll see that the plants, now if, I t if I remove one plant carefully here, You'll see now that we have here, they're looking a little bit yellow, but this leaf isn't important. It's the new leaves that are coming from the bottom here that are important. These must be nice and green. But here we have one, two, three, four or five onion plants growing in one pot. And they're looking really good. You can see the nice roots at the bottom, nice white roots. These are going to be good plants, I hope. Put it back now. Um, the reason we're covering these plants and the reason we're giving them what we call short day, short day treatment is that long days initiate flowering. That's what I've been, that's what I've learned. What I mean by initiate flowering is that the onion, as it grows, will start to flower rather than produce a large onion bulb. So the longer the onion has on a short day, the bigger the onion bulb will grow before flower initiation. So this is all about pre preventing the onion from flowering. The word we use in English as well is bolting. Bolting means it produces a flower stem too quickly before the, before the plant is, 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 should be producing a flower. Short day treatment for onions. So here, here, here you can see that we've planted our onion plants and you can see from the bed that we have four rows, four rows of onion plants and if you remember in each, in each bark or in each cell we had three, four, four onions actually growing in each cell. Can you see there's four onions in there. So we've got four onions growing every 15 to 20 centimeters in four rows and that should give us like the correct size onion by putting these onion plants close together we don't want a big onion 
I don't know, is it four, 45, 55, up to 65 millimeter onion is what we want. This is a sweet onion. Then we have shallot, sweet onion, shallot and red onion here. But they're all roughly about the same. And we'll see now this year whether the amount of work we've done here by growing these plants, by putting this kelmo on, by planting them, whether it's, whether it's worthwhile to do it. We'll get a, hopefully get a very, very good quality, interesting, sweet and shallot onion. But if the, and the next thing is to try and get the kitchens interested and understand that this is a special type of onion that's worth to use compared to the commercial yellow onion that you have in the shops and in the Kukunike. That's That's what we're planning to do, but this is more expensive. But it's an interesting, an interesting thought for the Green City Farm to try and develop some idea like this. Erikois sipuli, erikois luomu sipuli tai ekosipuli sano tuotanto.